Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, we'll be putting reality under a microscope, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy TikToks that'll leave you dumbfounded. But first, y'all, guess what came in the mail today? Yes, sir. The plaque finally arrived, guys. I cannot wait to share it with you all. And just thank you once again for supporting the channel since day one like y'all have been, man. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and set this back here. And let's hop straight into the video, y'all. Let's do it. Trailing back, I can't see. A state of emergency in effect this morning as wind-fueled wildfires are burning dangerously close to homes. Officials say strong winds from Hurricane Dora are fueling these fires that have burned multiple structures in Maui. Also on the Big Island, evacuations are ongoing right now. And the Coast Guard says a dozen people were rescued after they jumped into the ocean to escape the flames. Is this unprecedented in the history of Hawaii? It is unprecedented. Um, when we deal with hurricane and disasters um, following hurricane, we're usually dealing with heavy rain, we're dealing with flooding. Um, the fact that we have wildfire in multiple areas um, as a result of indirectly from a hurricane is unprecedented. Since the last time I spoke to CNN, it has turned very serious and very dire. I'm just going to ignore the fact that they just tried to blame this one on a hurricane and just send my thoughts and prayers out to everybody impacted, bro. It looks like the whole island got destroyed. They are literally putting it in front of your face. And this music video supplies by Justine Timberlake starts off by him watching inequality headlines lines on tv also one of the tvs flashes we can't breathe which is really weird because this music video was released in 2018. next they show them in front of the public library with burning flags and tanks and flashing lights but the next scene is a bunch of people bowing down to the illuminati sign once they see this they run and burn it down but they just continue to worship the pyramid which i guess is a good sign maybe it's symbolizing we need to fight back against the people that are controlling the world regardless of the meaning it seems like they're trying to desensitize us to these symbols and this imagery because half the time these music videos don't even match the theme of the song they just throwing demons and pyramids everywhere i don't know if anybody realizes yet about this video but i did not come up like this around people there's something wrong with that rainwater I'm pretty sure it's natural for deer to seek shelter during storms, but I've never seen them up close with the people taking selfies like that. So either they were raised near humans or they know something. We've taken another step towards a cashless society. A big bank has confirmed customers in some locations can no longer withdraw money over the counter as branches continue to wind back services. It's up there with the pub with no beer, the bank with no cash. ANZ has confirmed some branches no longer handle cash at the counter. Others are directing customers to smart ATMs for cash transactions. The latest figures on ATM shows the number of machines has more than halved from almost 14,000 back in 2017 to around 6,000 in the middle of last year. For years, cash was king. But not anymore. Hello there. I wondered if you had any change for a $50 note. No, I don't have any cash. <laughs> don't use cash anymore these days. No, definitely not. No change at all. Never? Never. Not having cash is much more convenient. For the first time since dollars and cents were introduced in the 1960s, Australia's cash supply is shrinking. We are becoming fully digitalised. We're still producing cash out there, but we're just becoming more reliant on other ways to pay. And this is what you would expect. In fact, it's a trend that's long been in the making. What scares me the most about going cashless is that you have to fully trust the bank to allow all your transactions to go through. You can't just resort to cash if there's an issue, bro. But it's starting to seem like it's inevitable. Aliens will be the excuse for the government to knock out the power supply, turn off the internet, and then implement what is known as FedNow and central bank digital currencies and this will also help the national federal debt. This will be how the government also gets people like you and I to stop talking to each other. At the onset of the no one really thought how much it would grow and what the ramifications economically would be. However, we saw that it had drastic impact not just then but years down the road as we deal with inflation today. Whether aliens are real or not, they can be utilized to change the current economic and monetary system in place, which is quite clearly failing. If you're unfamiliar, FedNow is basically instant payments with the digital dollar. Every single thing you do will be tracked. 
And you know when you see names like Wells Fargo and J.P. Morgan Chase that this is coming. However, it has not been wide-scale adopted yet, still waiting on Citibank and Bank of America. And, of course, people like you and I. It seems like they're already implementing this against our will anyway, so an invasion is just going to be the icing on the cake. This is how Stephen King novels begin. Oh, look at the colorful purple smoke that I'm driving straight to. I'm not an expert, but this looks like several EPA violations. Disturbing facts at school never taught you. Did you know sitting like this when you poop is actually extremely bad for you, and apparently you can actually from this? This is the correct way to sit. Sitting this way means everything can flow easier and you're not straining as much, but I do not sit like this, do you? The ear is actually the easiest part of the body to pull off. You could easily just place your hands there and pull it off right now, but your brain won't let you. You know when you see something cute and you just want to squeeze it? Well, the reason why isn't so cute is because subconsciously your brain wants to because it is too cute. Languages are slowly disappearing completely. It's estimated that a language disappears every two weeks. Did you know the royal family used to have people watching them do it to prove that they actually did and it was all legitimate? Hit that follow button and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, if a group of normal citizens did any of the stuff that we hear in these stories about the royals, bro, they would be labeled a cult so fast. Bro, what the f is that on 95? Yo. <laughs> what the f is this? Bro, like for real, what the f is this? Hey, y'all think this is a UFO? It might just be a satellite dish or something, because I can't see them transporting a UFO in rush hour traffic on a flatbed. I want to ask some uh, questions of you, and a simple yes or no is fine. Um, uh, the FDA's um, authority over the safety of baby lotion. First, can the FDA... Uh, uh, require a review of baby lotion for safety before it comes to market? No. Can the FDA require the manufacturer not to use a toxic ingredient, for example, formaldehyde, uh, in its baby lotion? No. Is the manufacturer required to register with the FDA before selling its baby lotion? No. I, don't know, I think my, oh, my first statement is becoming truer. Uh, once the baby lotion comes to market, can the FDA require uh, safety information about the baby lotion? No. If the baby lotion has caused uh, bad reactions uh, in the babies, can the FDA require a recall? No. If the manufacturer is aware of the baby's bad reactions, would the manufacturer be required to report that to the FDA? No. Well, I think everybody's paying rapt attention here. The baby lotion industry must have some incredible lobbyists because in a world full of rules and regulations, I don't know how they just slip through the cracks like that. This possibly confirms the true purpose of the dome and antenna features we see on all these old buildings. I just wish they would have showed proof of it lighting up a light bulb or something. A few months ago, I was on Google Earth, and uh, I was kind of drawing all the lines out on the alignments just basically to see where they go. As I was drawing one out on the summer solstice sunrise alignment, yeah, I kept taking it out further and further, and uh, you know, I noticed one over Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. And north, kind of a northeast direction. Right, yeah. And then um, as I took it over, it also went right over to England. And I thought that was kind of interesting. So I kept zooming in further and further. And it was what through Stonehenge. Go. What? It's going all the way over towards Stonehenge. Not only does it go just through Stonehenge, it actually goes right through one of the triathlons at Stonehenge. Wait a minute. Through one of the triathlons at Stonehenge? Right. From America's Stonehenge? It's strange that mainstream archaeologists, despite the proof, want to hold on to the narrative that ancient man wasn't advanced or connected. The bottom is finna fall if y'all on this west side get in the house while you can. Man, look at this. Just 
tell this storm about to be biblical. Nope, this is not fake, and this terrifying situation is believed to be happening everywhere soon. Alaska was declared in a state of emergency after a sudden huge surge of flooding caused mass evacuation and two whole buildings to completely be taken out. It was reported each family and citizen was told to pack as much as they could, and they only had 10 minutes to pack and flee with their lives. The water was reported so high that the area where the houses were sitting would now require a kayak to get to, and it is reported the water is still rising in some areas. This happened in Alaska. The Mendenhall Glacier had just melted and flooded the nearby lake, which was even reported back in 2011 that the damages would affect up to 15 million people if melted, and it's melting. The water eroded the ground so much that the one building's foundation literally got washed away. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Many are scared of more glaciers to melt due to global warming, and if this means this will happen more frequently. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. It seems like the Earth has finally had enough of us, bro. It's trying to make it real inhospitable. I already had anxiety about getting into the water when I go to the beach, but this is just a nail in the coffin. Are you joking? I can't believe we just saw oh that. Oh my god! That's so pretty! This isn't a meteor or an alien. It's probably just space junk. The stunning light display over Melbourne wowed onlookers. A bright light streaking across the sky, leaving a trail of what appeared to be flames. Where are we? What's it going to hit? It's going to go on the water, man. No, it's, yeah, it's going across the sky. Oh my god. The colours produced as the object streaked across the sky suggested it was a man-made material, according to astronomer Alan Duffy. The object was coming down from orbit some 7 kilometres per second, and it would have been a couple of tonnes to begin with due to the fact that it was burning so brightly for so long. He said the mysterious object most likely burnt up before reaching the ground. I don't ever remember space junk falling from the sky this frequently, bro. This is like the 6th or 7th video we covered this year alone on this channel. Map does seem to match up with the dark spots, but I'm not sure exactly what that proves, man. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Travis Scott fans, I have a theory. Right, so, I think the Travis Scott Utopia album is purely music for the apocalypse and the end of the world. But wait, hear me out. Hear what he said? Might as well turn up now. He gonna pop up unannounced to the trumpets. Do you like the way it sounds? That's God. So in the book of Revelation, in the Bible, days during the end of the world, we're going to hear seven trumpets. Now, what if trumpets is a metaphor for musical artists? Like someone had to play the trumpet. An angel played the trumpet, right? What if there are seven artists that will spread this message? And then once the seventh artist is finished their music career, the world ends. It's the end of the world. At the moment we're like two out of seven or three out of seven yay made an album like that as well and the most interesting thing is those lyrics those exact lyrics bar for bar first showed up from travis Scott in late 2021 in a in a demo track that didn't make it onto Kanye west album donda i'm gonna say that this one is a reach because i doubt that the fate of the world will be prophesized through a rap album <laughs> bad for anybody caught outside in that bro harp is trying to put people on a stretcher here is another example of an old tartarian building with the ability to harness energy from the ether and produce free electricity for the people now at the top you are going to see the antenna which is shaped like the moon which i find very interesting and then you're going to see these balls and these balls are actually filled with mercury when mercury spins it creates a current and here's a great example of this and if you take mercury in a flask and spin it over a voltage meter it'll actually produce current if you analyze all old buildings, you'll see this technology. All of these buildings were designed to harness energy from the ether. 
The antennas harness the electromagnetic energy from the ether that is then sent to the mercury. The mercury spins and creates the current. This is why when you research Tartaria and free energy technology, they never used wire. Here's another great example of this. You don't see wires. Cathedrals all over the world produced free energy. That's why the word cathode is in it. Cathode is a type of electrode. This is why the windows on all these cathedrals represented cymatic patterns because they were sound healing centers that generated free electricity. This is the cymatic pattern of a cathedral bell. As you can see, it matches this pattern in this window. Literally all windows in these cathedrals represent certain cymatic pattern. These cathedrals were designed for people to lay down and experience sound healing. They were designed to pitch sound at some of the best frequency. This truth has certainly been hidden from us, but we are at a point where humanity is waking up and we are going to take back our power. Peace and love. I still can't get over the fact that it's because of a few greedy people in the past that we still out here paying an electric bill. Better hurry up. Don't get public shamed. There it is. Look at this guy. Oof, got him. Oh, oh got her, dude. Oh, no. Oh. So, just so you guys know, do not jaywalk in you will be shamed. They put your name up there too, bro. That's petty and invasive. This man accidentally landed in Area 51 while paragliding. But of course, the military didn't believe it was an accident and they immediately arrested him. And to make matters worse, he had a camera attached to his paraglider, which only confirmed that he was probably a spy. And so they brutally interrogated him for six hours straight. Finally, at 2 a.m., his worried wife got a phone call telling her to immediately drive to a certain location in the desert. There, she found her husband with an army officer in and several MPs. They said her husband was free to go if they signed an affidavit saying they have never been to Area 51. Of course, they signed and the paraglider and camera were returned, but with all the footage deleted. And the strange thing is, when his wife asked, he said he had no memory of what he saw in Area 51. It sounded like they hit him with that man in black neuralizer and wiped his memory. That storm decimated that parking lot, bro. It looked like every single car was totaled. Hey, remember how those look? So if we recognize them during the invasion, we know it's Project Bluebeam. I knew this technology was out there, but I was not prepared for this. This woman pays for her groceries with her hand. You can see the transaction right here being approved when her hand hovers over the device. I'll show you the full clip with the original audio in a second, but it's only two to $300 to get this implemented in your hand. And it's the size of a grain of rice or a safety pin. They supposedly have great security just in case there are hackers trying to track your location or trying to hack your bank account, which just sounds weird to say because because this is a device inside of your body. And I don't know if you know this, but thousands of people already have this implemented in their hand. Now I heard conspiracies of this being the beginning of the end and the mark of the beast. And I don't know if something like this is demonic in itself, but nothing surprises me anymore. And for that reason, I'm out. Here's the full clip. Right now, hopefully I'm about to pay for my groceries. Ever. If they can figure out how to hack the Pentagon, they can definitely figure out how to hack a hand shit, bro. This is just a slippery slope. I think the most logical solution here is to just move. Footage of the Peruvian alien attack has been leaked online, and allegedly one of the beings can be seen in this clip. Let's take a look. A photograph of a faceless man has also been making the rounds online, and it is frightening, as this is allegedly what the beings have done to him. Many are theorizing that these aren't aliens at all due to their aggressive nature. What do you think?
Are they really here? I suspect that we're about to see a huge influx of alien sightings ever since the big announcement, but that footage was way too shaky to see anything. This weirdest looking thing is a gulper eel or pelican eel. It is named for its unique feeding behavior which is similar to the one of your mom and specialized anatomy. It possesses an enormous hinged mouth that can open wide enough to engulf prey much larger than its own body. When the gulper eel opens its mouth, it creates almost like a vacuum that sucks in water and prey allowing it to capture food efficiently in the deep sea environment. Take a friend with a mouth this big and follow for more animal facts. I've never seen or heard of this before, but it looked like Pac-Man with a ponytail. Have you ever heard of the Black Eyed Club? Unless you're one of the people that consistently compete in combat sports, I'd say it's not very likely for you to be walking around with a black eye, especially if you're a high-profile celebrity worth millions of dollars who walks around with security. And I don't think these celebrities joined a martial arts class or got beat up by the same person to obtain these black eyes, unless that person was more powerful than them so the news would never surface. Whatever the reason is, here's a list of celebrities with matching black eyes. It look like they're running a celebrity fight club, bro, but ain't nobody safe if they got the Pope. I would cry. Have you heard of a guy named Adam Archon? So he claims to be a traveler from the year 2045. He answers many questions about how 2045 will be. He says how humans have chips in them. I do have an implanted chip in my hand known as the one. That's how the future is like. The world will be ruled under one law. In 2030, all of the world's countries converge into one super nation. And how we will come in contact with aliens officially the public officially come in contact with aliens in the year 2028. Yes, it is true that aliens did land on Earth in August 2028. Uh, what freaked me out is he was hooked on the lie detector test. Every single answer he gave was passed. He did not lie. He would give very quick answers. The interviewer would ask him the question. He would immediately confidently respond, no lie detector. On every single question that was asked, a proper polygraph examination. I'm not sold on this one because anybody can make up predictions for the future, but I guess we'll see in 2028. I'm at a Krispy Kreme here in Guadalajara, Mexico, and look at all the bees. Krispy Kreme got me by a choco, so I would still probably order like two or three original glaze, just tell them to hold the bees. <laughs> Yeah, 
To me, that looks like some sort of light being projected onto the cloud from above, more so than the actual UFO. But let me know what you guys think about this one. Oh, Whoever was filming that definitely got a ruptured eardrum or two. One thing you gotta realize, the whole world know I hate rats, I hate snitches, I ain't in the teller. So people always wanna know, is Pac, Pac alive? I'm the wrong facts. But I tell you this, if you try to find a person who cremated Tupac, after he supposed cremated Tupac, he retired and vanished into the sun, into the sunset, into the dark. After, you know, after you really look at it, could Pac done all those songs? So the mathematically impossible. So answer your own question. Is he here or is he there? But at the same time, that was my little brother. His code name was Machiavelli, like mine is time. And if you know the story of Machiavelli, he faked his own. But at the same time, you know, they want to put Pac back in prison. But Pac would fake his own disappear before he go back to prison. So you ask that. Do you still hear? Do you still see? I'm quite sure you do. But once again, I ain't in the telling. So you never know. <laughs> Suge Knight was with him in the car that night, so if anybody would know, it would be him, but he could also be trying to spin a narrative because he's one of the top suspects. You have been warned. They have always known. It feels like it's two suns in the sky with how hot it's been this summer, but hopefully this one is just a coincidence, bro. What if the Mandela Effect could actually be proven? The Mandela Effect is a phenomenon where millions of people remember past events differently from what they originally happened. For instance, the Monopoly guy using a monocle. A lot of people remember him using a monocle, but apparently he never did. If you search it up, you'll see he never did. The same thing with this video. A lot of people remember the reporter being blonde. Please. Um, I mean, I love our chances. You know, it's been... Uh, it's been... thing is, there are a couple of people capturing the Mandela effect on camera and it's the case with the Thought Police who has been using an old phone to see somehow through a parallel dimension. This is what he recorded from the same video. You can see there, she's blonde. Officially, she was never blonde, but ChatGPT remembers Emily Austin actually being the woman from this commercial i haven't seen that clip so i'm not sure but if you guys have please let us know what you guys remember about that one hey the choir really had him out here vibing he definitely caught the holy ghost but with that being said guys that was the video thank you for coming to kick it with me let me know what you guys thought about these creepy TikToks in the comments below. And until next time, y'all take care of yourself.